All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and I'm going to be answering a very popular question that I get on a lot of my videos. What the heck is this thing? Yeah. Well, that thing <clears throat> is my trouble indication light. It is a, um, it's not something that you would really ever see on a fire system. I pretty much kind of built it and hooked it up to my system by myself. This is a post indication light for machinery. And what this does is in normal machine operation, it will be green. And then if the machine runs into an issue, it will be red. That's pretty much it. This one, I saw there's a liquidation store near me where they get a whole bunch of pallets of stuff from Amazon that doesn't sell. And so it's all just random junk. And there was this sitting there. I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to do with this. So I bought it for like two bucks. I took it home and I hooked it up to my panel. So this is my trouble indication light. So the way that this hooks up, as you can kind of see, because I don't have um, a good conduit connection here, but there's a red, a green, and a gray. The gray cable is the common. Red goes to the red light and green goes to the green light. So that will indicate a trouble on my panel. And yes, it is hooked up to my system. I'll show you. So some of you may know, some of you may not, the zonage that I have on my panel for my NACs. NAC 1 are the two NAC zones on the board. NAC 2 are the two NAC zones on the ceiling. And if I expand a horn somewhere off the demo board, then that will be coming out of NAC 2. And then NAC 4... That is my strobe knack. So that is the one I, strobes have their own knack. So that way when I silence the panel, I have knack four set not to silence. So that way I have audible silence. But knack three, that is my trouble knack. So we come down here. Here is knack three, right there. That is knack three. That goes up in my panel, up through, over, and to the trouble light. And then to get it to flash, I coded my panel through march time because my panel does a slower march time. So that way, if my panel ever goes into trouble, like say a missing detector, the panel will blink trouble and the light will begin to flash. Because sometimes that's, you may be able to hear that sound, but if it's been acknowledged or something, I don't know. I think that looks kind of cool. And I have it set up so if I silence the panel, that will not go, that will not turn off until the trouble has been corrected. So you see I have the detector on and I'll turn it and it turns off. Trouble? No trouble. Trouble? No trouble. So you can see that is what that doohickety up there is. Now, I had tried, because I wanted to free up a knack, so that way if I ran more alarms around the basement, I could use that knack, so that way they'd all be synced. And I was gonna put it through a relay, and I was able to get it worked through a relay, but I have not yet been able to find an adequate power source for it. Because the way a relay works, at least on this panel, is it's not powered. All it is, is just a switch. So you have a normally on switch, or normally off switch and you're common. So when the panel goes into alarm or supervisor or trouble or whatever, whatever you have the relay set to, it will change to whatever the abnormal setting is. So the opposite of normally closed. So when it, so say if I have an alarm relay, the opposite of normally closed is open. So instead of having the circuit closed, it will open. But I was not able to find an adequate power supply for this because I was not about to drop $300 on a Silent Night remote power supply. I said, uh-uh, and I tried some 9 volts and stuff, but I could not get enough juice up there because it's just an incandescent bulb. And besides, then it wouldn't be coated, it would just be steady on. And I thought, that's kind of lame. So, NAC3, it stays. So, yeah. Um, one other thing it does is I have my test switch here. When I turn this to test, 
the panel will go into supervisory. And the reason I have it set as a supervisory, not a fire alarm, is because I turned latch supervise off. So that way when it goes back to on, the supervisory will automatically correct itself. The panel will automatically reset. And I don't have to do anything but turn the switch back to on. But what I set it to do is to do an all NAC test. So it runs every single NAC on my board, NACs 1 through 4. So the trouble light will also come on. So if I turn it to test, trouble light comes on. Yeah. So that has been what this doohickety is. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.